What is up guys, welcome to another video, another video, another dopamine high, another dopamine high, another review. It, take that as you fucking will, I'm not making sense today, motherfucker. But what is up, we are doing another video, and that is going to be Jazz Wars Halo the Spartan Collection 2 pack. Now this kind of came out of nowhere, I don't think there were any announcements for it. I think God just dropped it on our doorstep, and Jazz Wear was the caretaker for this little surprise because, yeah, no, none of us saw this shit coming. But it is here. I have a Spartan Collection problem. So I'm going to fucking review it. And fun fact, this is part of Wave 5. Because if we look at the box, it's, it's the old art style. It's the green and black and gray gold art style. Rather than this new blue and black and gray clean sleek looking style. So very, very interesting. This is probably a late release. They just kind of forgot that they had to push this out. So by the time wave six came out, they were like, so, um, what are we doing with this? And, and, and you know what? They dropped it. They gave it to us. So I'm here to review it. So let's jump into that shit. So taking a look at this fat fucking box, like I said before, this is the old art style because this is part of wave five before they made that whole change. So there's everything included in the box there's the two beautiful beautiful boys and then the rest of wave five be chilling at the bottom below i have a review for this entire wave so go check that out after you watch this shit and you know opening up first impressions everything's looking good i'm liking that we're getting a mark 7 haven't seen one since a wave one literally and then we have another gunganeer which is always good to see a very cool armor and for our first victim i'm choosing the mark 7 because i fucking can and diving into his articulation he cannot rotate his head 360 degrees his helmet does clash with his chest rig but he can rotate a good amount nonetheless and then his head can barely move up and down barely but it is possible and then he can tilt his head side to side and just like the up and down it's barely there but it is possible then moving to the arm articulation which is actually not that bad at the shoulders he can bring his arms up a really good amount very happy to see that and he can rotate them 360 degrees an awesome number for articulation and then getting to the elbow articulation it is kind of like linda's where it just he can bring his forearm up at a 90 degree angle and not anymore kind of bugs me because that limits how much or like how he holds his weapon and you know these are spartans they all they're always holding weapons and then his hand you can rotate 360 degrees and bend the wrists any ways you want getting the torso articulation there is barely any he can kind of you know go back and forth barely there but it's there and he cannot rotate at all very sad to see don't know why this is happening and then when we get down to the legs, he can sit down in a chair if you really, really wanted him to. You could rotate them 360 degrees and just kind of swivel the thigh just, just a wee bit. And then getting to the split, you can do like 75% of a split. And then moving down to the knees, it kind of can't really do a butt kick. He can, His knee bend looks organic. It's the most organic knee bend we've seen in a very long time but he is not able to do a butt kick because of it. I don't know what the fuck is this sacrifice shit that Jazzware has been doing because I remember our figures were able to do really good butt kicks while having a organic looking knee bend, so I don't know what's going on there. And then moving to the foot, of course, you can bend that back and forth, rotate it 360 degrees for balancing and posing reasons, and of course, the toe just bends up and down. If they fuck up that formula, I've lost all hope in this franchise, but it's still there so i haven't lost hope just yet so overall articulation is iffy in some spots good in others and yeah so diving into the accessories that are oriented towards the mark 7 and that is the snipe rifle now we've seen the snipe rifle already and i didn't realize this during my wave 6 review because i kelly had a special snipe rifle so i i just guess that went over my poo poo stinky brain but the snipe rifle has actually also been enlarged just like the assault rifle has i see that jazzware is starting to revamp their weapons and it's all for the best because now that i've seen that the snipe rifle is bigger it looks much better in the spartans hands and just to get an idea of how big the new snipe rifle is here it is in my pans just kind of chilling and then getting what the old snipe rifle looked like and you can tell almost immediately the difference just how big the new snipe rifle is and in my opinion i like it so much better it also was color corrected so it's more accurate to the in-game appearance and overall i think that jazzwer did a good job with the paint job and letting the sculpt job pop out more because of its new size and just the color correcting is just spot on in my opinion so i think this is another step forward in a right direction for jazzwer 
And this time I did not get fucked by the Jazzware gods and my sniper rifle barrel is not completely bent or fucked over. It is kind of slightly tilted, but not to a distracting extent. And I'm very happy about that. So this, I, I just got lucky this time. I'm very happy about that. And of course, because they gave me a straight barrel, I had to have the trade-off of the sniper rifle. Does not want to stick to the back of our Spartan. Now I know in my Wave 6 video, we did see this being an issue with some Spartans with their weapons not wanting to stick to their back or thigh. So that's just this issue appearing here. But it does feel like I had to trade off the sniper barrel for this. And for his secondary, it is the sidekick with the new and improved design that was introduced during Wave 5. Now we've seen this a handful of times already, seeing that Wave 5 is no longer the latest wave so there's no need to go in depth about this and fortunately the sidekick does want to stay on to the thigh of our boy now i shook this around i flicked it a little bit and it stayed on so very good to see that at least the thigh accessories will stay on and for the additional hands, this motherfucker comes with two closed fists, two holding hands, two trigger fingers, and one tactical hand with the proper armor plating on them for your posing needs. And here we are at the turntable segment of the video where I go over what I like, dislike, pros, and cons. Actually, you know what? We're no longer going to say pros or cons because it's all subjective. I'm just going to go over what I like and dislike. And if you agree, cool. If you dislike, oh fuck it. And I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're allowed to disagree. We're in a free country, aren't we? But basically, this is where I talk about what I like, dislike, stuff like that. And y'all are more than welcome to go in the comments section below and create a discussion and branch off of what I said. So getting into that, let's go over what I dislike first. Just get that sour stuff out of the way. So going over the big thing that I usually complain about most when it comes to the Spartan collection figures, and that is articulation. Now, starting off with the head region, I'm fine that he can't rotate his head 360 degrees. I don't need him to do that. It's a pretty good range of motion as it is so i i don't need him to do that full 360 spin but when it comes to looking up and down and tilting his head side to side it just feels like he could do it a little bit more or better if you will and his helmet doesn't clash with his chest rig when you try to have him look up or down or tilt his head side to side it's literally just its own limitation and i wish that jazz were in some form would you know improve upon that i know that this isn't thousand toys or NECA, but i just kind of wish that something they could just tweak just a little bit because you know the more you can move your character's head the more expression they can show and then moving down to the torso we already know for the past couple of waves that the jazz wear spartan collection torsos have been very iffy and just downright awful at times and this guy yeah he can kind of move his torso which is considered kind of better when you compare it to the past couple waves but it's just, I feel like, you know, they're Spartans. There's these agile super soldiers. They should be able to move their torsos a lot. And that's just not happening here. And I'm pretty sure that most of you can agree with me on that. At least I hope you do. Because, you know, bad torso articulation is kind of cringe in my opinion. And after that, I just don't really have any other complaints about the articulation. The forearms kind of bums me out because the less a figure can move their forearms, the more harder it is for them to hold things, when, especially items that require two hands to hold. At least that's something I have found in my time of collecting these figures. The harder it is to move their forearms, the harder it is for them to hold their weapons and stuff like that and that's pretty much my issue with articulation on this figure after that the only other quote-unquote issue i have which is more of a nitpick is i kind of wish that in some parts of his armor he his armor was a little more dirtier or darker in some sense because like his helmet i love his helmet it looks all scratched up it looks like it's been through the ringer and his shoulder pieces have but when we get to like the leg area at some parts and even somewhere around the torso his armor is kind of clean and it just kind of it's like this mix match just like some arm part of the armor is scuffed some other parts of the armor are not and it just kind of looks a little weird in my opinion and then moving past that the only other issue i have with this figure is that i wish his sniper rifle would stick to his back because you know it's just something i like to see you know we see our characters in game have the weapons on their back and i know earlier waves this whole weapon on their backs was never an issue so i don't know where this is coming from it just kind of seemed like it popped out of nowhere and i hope that's something jazzware can address very soon so moving on to what i actually really like about this figure and that is starting off with the sniper rifle improvement this was introduced during wave 5 I guess because this is a wave 5 figure and I think that this is a step in the right direction on Jazzwares end for just scaling up and making the weapons look more you know accurate to their in-game counterparts and then 
complementing his armor after you know shitting on it there are parts of his armor that look really good like his helmet and just some other parts like his shoulders some parts of his legs some parts of his torso there's this whole mix match thing going on and i will say the parts that do look scuffed up and look used and dirty i really like those parts of his armor i like how also on his thigh he has the pouch they're introducing armor accessories from the game even you know clearly seen on his visor he has the ua visor attachment which you know kind of makes his visor more protected and you know narrowed which i think is actually kind of cool looking it's growing on me every time i look at it but i just so i like how there's some parts of his armor look scuffed and used it kind of brings more you know detail and life to his armor and the figure overall and then i like how jazzware is starting to add in-game armor accessories to the figures you know just expanding upon their sculpt portfolio so overall how i do feel about this figure is very wishy-washy because what i like and dislike do bleed into each other um but overall i do think that if you're just having this figure solely for display that this is an awesome figure because i just his color scheme and the sniper rifle really go well together i do think that I did get some cool poses with him. None of them were too crazy, but just because of how he looks and how intimidating the sniper rifle now looks, now that it's bigger, just go so well together. So this is a very cool display figure, but if this is a play figure, I would say this is more on the mess side because of the articulation in some parts of his body. But yeah, so there's your two answers. Display, good, play, eh. So now, moving on to our next victim. And then getting into our juicy Gunganeer's articulation, he can rotate his head 360 degrees. It is a blessing from God himself. And then he kind of can look up and down. It's more he can look down and he can bring his head back up. And then tilting his head side to side is... It's, it's there, just not, not very much. And then he can bring his arms up a good amount before the shoulders clash with the chest rig. And he can rotate his arms 360 degrees if you so fucking please. And then getting to the elbow articulation, he can bring his forearms up a much better amount than the Mark 7 could. So that is a plus there. And then getting to the hand articulation, it is the same fucking formula we've seen since wave 1. Rotate 360 degrees and bend them motherfucking wrists. It's always good to see that it and then getting to the torso articulation and spoiler alert it's not fucking there at all he can kind of bend back and forth but that's really it he can't rotate or any shit like that it is unfortunate to see that this is the new staple for the spartan collection and then moving to the legs he can have him bring his legs up if you want him to take a good old seat and then you can rotate his legs 360 degrees just like with the mark 7 and then you can have him do a full split or at least like 95 percent of a split but it's always good to see a figure doing some splits and then the knee articulation looks organic at the cost of not a full butt kick like i mentioned with the mark 7 so i'm not going to rant about that again and then moving down to the feet the feet are the same formula as always you can rotate them 360 degrees bend them back and forth all that good shit and then of course the toes can go up and down the day jazz war messes that shit up i will lose all faith in god and besides being able to rotate his head 360 degrees the gunganeer pretty much has the same articulation as the mark 7 good in some spots iffy in others let's move forward and going over the first accessory which is the hubcap of the gunganeer helmet i don't know why they chose to do the whole lens thing it looks gross it's okay kid everyone makes mistakes but yeah once you put the cover on everything looks how it should be and for our first weapon we have a brand new addition to the spartan collection and fuck it is the battle roy i ironically said battle royale rifle we have the battle rifle finally in the spartan collection portfolio i've been waiting for this for a long time because the battle rifle is such a classic weapon in the halo franchise and i think many of us are happy to finally see it unfortunately it's in this two pack so if you don't have 40 bucks to put out you're gonna have to wait till the battle rifle comes with a solo figure for you know obviously the cheaper price but i'm so happy to finally have this in the spartan collection portfolio now hopefully we can maybe see older iterations of the battle rifle like halo 3 and 2 dare i say halo 4 or 5 but i am happy to see that we finally have the battle rifle in the spartan collection nonetheless and besides having the battle rifle we have a good looking battle rifle as well we have a bunch of little details carved in we see the little triangles all the lines tactical rail stuff like that the paint job is just you know it's effective it's nothing too crazy just light gray and black so i will give jazz where the benefit of the doubt that you know they didn't go too crazy. I wasn't expecting anything crazy if they ever did a battle rifle. So I'm just happy 
that we finally have one. And unlike the sniper rifle for the Mark 7, the battle rifle on the Gunganeer does want to stay and it's pretty stuck on there you know i shook it flicked it didn't come off so very happy to see that the battle rifle wants to behave when it comes to putting it on the back of the spartans and for his secondary he comes with a sidekick but we already addressed this with the mark 7 so no need to reiterate but for those curious the sidekick does want to stick to the thigh of the gunganeer so it seems like that these new and improved sidekicks also stick better to the thighs of the spartans and getting into the additional hands, he has the same hands that the Mark 7 has, two holding hands, two trigger fingers, two closed fists, and one tactical hand. And here we are, that is everything included with the Gunganeer, so we are at the turntable segment of the video. I've already discussed how this works, I go over what I like, dislike, stuff like that, and just getting the stuff that I dislike out of the way, because I like getting that sour stuff out of the way. And the big obvious issue I do have with this figure is his articulation, specifically in the torso and head area of the figure. All, we already know that torso articulation for the Spartan collection is really iffy or just downright bad at times. And the head articulation, it's there. It's not terrible. It's a little iffy. I wish there was a little bit more head articulation in my opinion. But overall, just, you know, I wish there was just a little bit more. And my second and only other issue with this guy, and this is like a nitpick and it's also not as prominent as it was on the Mark 7, but he's also doing the whole, some part of his armor is clean, some part of it is dirty. And like I said, not as much as the Mark 7. It's only really on the chest rig torso area of the figure. It just, the light gray is clean or doesn't really seem messed up at all. And then when we get to the dark gray, it's all worn and scuffed. So I just, that little nitpick, just something I've noticed. It doesn't ruin the figure, it's just, there and i've noticed it so i wouldn't really put this as a con it's just something that i've noticed and i it kind of irks me so after me being a nitpicky bitch what do i like about this figure well the articulation in the limbs like the legs and the arms are actually really decent you can get him to do multiple stances and he can hold his battle rifle without any issues it's very nice and then i kind of besides the little nitpicky rant i had with the chest rig having mix and match clean and dirty armor i think his like look overall is fine i really like how the blue and the yellow contrast with the red it's a very unique color scheme and it just kind of works for uh, our spartan over here and one last thing that I can think of that I really like about this figure is how the weapons actually stick to his back and thigh. I know with the Mark 7, the sidekick stick to his thigh, but the sniper rifle would not stick to his back. Here, it's a two for two, the battle rifle and the sidekick will stick to our Spartan. So that is very nice to see here. So overall, I'm going to have to say that this is a pretty okay figure. He doesn't really excel in anything. He doesn't have like the best articulation throughout the Spartan collection, but he, you know, doesn't have the worst. And, you know, he's just a normal generic Spartan. He's not a character. It's not like there was a bar set for this guy. It was just a two-pack release that Jazzware put out. So I would say this is a pretty okay Spartan collection figure. But don't get me wrong, I do think that his color scheme is pretty cool with the bright colors contrasting the gray kind of base. And at the end of the day, I believe that this is just another figure Jazzware can add to their portfolio. And just me personally putting in my input, I believe that this is just a figure I would put up on display. I don't see me going back to this figure, the Tinker, or play around with him. He just looks cool and I would like to have him on my display. And if I were to, you know, pull this guy out from my backlog and just play with him, it would be to probably make a custom, but I don't see me doing that anytime soon either. So with all that said, if you have this two-pack already, what do you think about this figure? Are you as nitpicky as I am? I don't know. I'm a pretty nitpicky motherfucker. I just need to, you know... Make this video as long as I possibly can get it to be but yeah no uh, let me know down below in the comment section what do you think about this figure do you like it dislike it create a discussion down below allow others to branch off of it and before we move things further I want to do the size comparison these guys are the same height so I'm just gonna use the Gunganeer as the height reference starting off with Jazzwares world of halo Halo Infinite Master Chief. NECA's Scorpion Alien, which I do have a review of up on the channel if you want to check that out after this shit. NECA's Alpha Predator, who I also did a video on. Hasbro's Star Wars The Black Series Republic Commando Sev, who I just did a video on. McFarlane's Doom Slayer. And finally, we have Bandai's High Grade Camphor. So yeah, I think I've covered everything. I've gone over the figures, what I think about them, and all their accessories. 
So please tell me down below, what do you like about this two pack? What do you dislike? Create a discussion down below. Personally, I think the two big things that this two pack has brought to us is the battle rifle and the improved size of the sniper rifle. Of course, we have two good looking Spartans that I was a little nitpicky on, I will admit. But I will admit, I think this is just Jazz we're trying to put out more Spartan collection content for us because I know that the waves are four figures and a lot of people want characters so i think this is just a way for them to throw out non-character figures because i know there is a whole side of the spartan collection fan base that likes just getting spartan fodder and just getting a bunch of cool weapons and then there's the other side that likes to get the characters and whatnot personally i swear because i have an issue i am all for whatever jazzware throws our way in the spartan collection as long as they improve upon these figures motherfuckers fix that torso articulation god damn it um but overall i think that this is just a fine two pack with some fine looking spartans with some fine looking weapons and yeah that's pretty much how i will put it and that is it here we are at the outro portion of the video if you did like this video a like and subscription would be awesome you don't have to comment because i know that's a lot of effort but if you do like to create discussion and branch off of what i said more than welcome to go down below and talk about this stuff i like talking about this stuff i'm more than likely gonna respond to you in the comments below so go do that if you want and then we both know the bell is broken so don't worry about touching that shit and with all that said if you like this video there's more reviews up on the channel i do a bunch of halo stuff star wars stuff and neca stuff so go check that all out if you are interested and with all that said have a good motherfucking day and stay hydrated i'll kill you if you don't